Hi there, Tish from She Science here, the sports bra store. So today I wanted to have a chat to you about the Ultimate Rum Bra, so the Shock Absorber Bra. Um, it has a really big following uh, at in our store. A lot of customers absolutely love this style. Some of the things that make it um, quite unique is the really light fabrication. So um, it has a double layer of material, but both layers of the material are very, very light and thin. It's completely seam free in the cup. Um, so no sort of opportunity for irritation within the cup. Um, as you'll see on the model here, even though it is a razor back bra, you can see that it is trying to scoop quite broadly around the neckline so that it doesn't pinch and irritate, um, which we think is a really nice feature. So a great high impact wire free sports bra. Uh, as you can see from the back here, there is a little clasp at the top here. Um, that is useful for getting sort of more so out of the bra, to be honest. We find that most people can't actually reach to the point that it is because it does actually sit quite low on the back, um, in contrary to what it to what it looks in this image. Uh, so what we tell people is to actually keep that done up and then pull the bra over your head and treat it as if it's a, a true um, racerback bra. You'll notice as well um, there are adjustment points in the strap here. Um, because there is no elastic in the bra strap, we do find these are kind of set and forget. Um, so you don't actually really have to adjust that, say, as the material stretches out because it won't. Which brings me to my next point. Um, the material around the rib cage, again, with this bra, we just don't find it stretching with age. Now, that's a really good thing. It means that um, we're able to maintain the lifespan uh, or maximize the lifespan um, of your support because as the bra stretches out is when it starts to lose its function. Okay, so it's a really good thing. It does mean that you don't want it fitted too firmly when it's new because it's unlikely to stretch um, really either at all and definitely not quickly. Another thing about this style is a lot of our triathletes like this style. It's not specifically designed for triathlon, but the materials, because they don't hold a lot of moisture, um, are great for triathlon, for your swim uh bike and then run um, because by the time you hit the run the bra's dry which is awesome from a chafing perspective um does have a reflective um component here so it is designed to wear as outerwear um that of course is up to you and then the only other thing i would say about this bra that we definitely want you to um to take note of is it doesn't fit true to size so we actually recommend that people go up one band size, so that's the number component of the bra size, and down two cup sizes. So I know that sounds crazy, but for me as an example, where let's say, let's call me a 10E, I'm going to be wearing the 12D in this bra. In fact, that's what I do have. Um, that is, we do, we make that change almost a hundred percent of the time. So if you buy your regular bra size, it will just be way too firm. Um, and likewise, it will not fit in the cup. So we strongly recommend going um, up one band size and down two cup sizes. We know it seems crazy, um, but in order to get it right, we do strongly recommend taking that advice. Um, that advice is obviously assuming that the cup size or that the bra size um, that you think you are is what you actually are, right? So yeah, we do write that in the um, comments, sorry, the fitting notes section of our website. Under each bra, we write if there's any fitting nuances. So this one we're just particularly cautious about. We really want people to be aware of that uh, fitting issue.
Cool. Alrighty, ladies, if you have any questions, please um, get in touch with us via the chat function on our website or email us at info at shescience.com.au. Um, both our chat and our email are manned by experienced profiters like myself or one of my team members. Cool. Thanks, ladies. Bye.